Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of representing an unknown quantity. This is standard 4.5a in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 18 of the 2023 released STAR test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we have a family that's paying a total of $44 for some tickets. And all right, we're trying to find how much each child ticket costs. Well, let's, let's draw a picture. It looks like our answer is going to be a strip diagram. So that's fine. All right, so what do we have? We've got $44 for two adults and three child. Okay, so let's just let's draw a picture first, right? Let's draw some big people. Okay, so let's just assume it's mom and dad, and then three kids, okay? So we'll just have two little girls and a little boy. All right, so there we go. Those are the five people in the family, total of $44, okay? So we're going to just put a big box around this right here, and we're going to say $44, that's the total. Now, the two adult tickets cost a total of $20. All right, so I'm going to draw a little line right here that says those two cost $20. So which strip diagram shows a way to find C? So that's my unknown quantity. And sometimes we'll use a letter to figure out the unknown quantity, the cost in dollars for each child ticket. Interesting. Okay. Well, if, it, if it's $20 for both adults, right, it makes sense, assuming that each adult ticket costs the same amount, right? Makes sense that they're going to be $10 each, right? Let's just cut that $20 in half. All right, so it looks like I've got $10 for each adult ticket. Now, how much is going to be left for these kiddo tickets? Well, what do we know? We know that we've got $44 for the whole thing, okay? And we've already used $20 for these uh, adult tickets. So you see how we almost have like a part, part, whole here, right? So let's take, let's do this. Almost got like a part, part, whole. So let's take, that's my 20, right? So let's do 44 minus 20 to see how much I've got left. Okay, so that's going to be 24. So looks like I've got... $24 for my kiddo tickets. And, okay, that makes sense, right? If you add the 20 and the 24, right, that is going to make back up to my 44, right? So that's my double check right there. But I've got $24 and I've got three kids. Okay, so now it seems like what we're going to need to do, you know, we split that $20 and a half because there's two adults. We're going to need to split that 24 three ways right, and see what would we do if we had 24 and then we divided it by 3. Okay, and that's a fact that most of us should know. It seems like we've got $8. All right, so looks like we've got, let's add it all up and make sure. We've got two adult tickets, $10 each, two child tickets, $8 each. That does makes sense typically your child tickets is going to be a little bit less than the adult tickets 8 16 24 let's put the four down there two three four yeah 44 okay that that lines up so that looks good now we need to find the representation for that though so look at their strip diagram they've got the hole at the bottom so that's fine and each of them have the same hole of 44 so that's not going to help us we need to find the parts here. You see, I've, I've started with one right here, but what did we end up doing? We wanted to find the, the C, the cost of each child's tickets, so we ended up splitting that other section into three equal parts, okay? Child, 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 which was eight, 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 just for our purposes. So let's see which one. Uh, A has got only two child tickets. We don't want that. That's got two child tickets. That's got three, but it's got two 20s. There we go. Three child and a 20. My answer is B. 